वेलकम क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ योर चैप्टर नाउन इन द अर्लियर क्लास वी हैव रेड वॉट नाउन इज वी हैव रेड अबाउट द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ नाउन वी हैव क्लासीफाइड द नाउन टू डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स लाइक कॉमन नाउन प्रॉपर नाउन कलेक्टिव नाउन वी हैव रेड डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ कलेक्टिव नाउन ओवर हियर we read about material noun abstract noun uh, abstract noun is refers to any kind of feeling or thought or quality of a brain or quality an idea that you cannot see or touch but it's only in your imagination like short become shortage and uh, we can make different kinds of abstract noun from the words so formed adding suffixes short become shortage break becomes breakage marry marriage long length deep depth judge judgment treat treatment boy boyhood priest priesthood child childhood old old age woman womanhood man manhood and so on okay so you are asked to go through all these words for your future purpose and today we will be starting number and gender of noun we will be classifying noun into number and gender okay so on the basis of number or quality uh, sorry quantity noun can be divided into two categories okay noun can be divided into two categories on the basis of number that is countable and uncountable countable means which you can count uncountable means which you cannot count for example can you count water no can you count pencil yes so pencil becomes your countable noun and water becomes your uncountable noun see the noun that can be counted are called countable nouns countable noun can be plural and singular in form see for example pencil you can write pencil you can write pencils so it can be both singular and plural form singular noun represent only one member of a kind okay for example class class girl woman angel animal etc plural noun represent more than two oh sorry more than one means two or more okay for example glass becomes glasses girl become girls bag become bags woman becomes woman okay these are the different kinds of example that you will find next is your uncountable nouns the nouns that cannot be counted are called uncountable nouns i had already previously said you that the nouns which you cannot count for example water can you count water can you say waters no water is one noun which is uncountable you cannot make it plural form so uncountable nouns are found in singular form they cannot be formed into plural you cannot make water into water so they are basically formed into singular substance the mainly they mainly denote substance which have bulk and abstract things or ideas means bulk which you cannot count means uh, not in numbers but in a bulk in a quite uh, quite an amount and also the abstract ideas okay for example milk can you say milks no milk it is found in bulk it is found in amount earth hair can you count the number of hairs you have on your head no friendship can you count friendship no beauty can you count beauty no poverty sugar butter rice pulses all these things are your uncountable nouns okay and on the basis of gender noun can be categorized as masculine feminine common and neuter masculine means male gender feminine means female common noun means which where you cannot distinguish between the male or female and neuter means the lifeless object see over here i hope you are able to see properly okay see masculine uh there are nouns indicating the male members of various species king man boy 
uh, ox, dog, servant. Okay. All these are your male or masculine gender. Feminine. These are nouns indicating the female members of the various species. They represent the female um, species. For example, queen, girl, woman, ox, okay, sorry, cow, bitch, maid, etc. These are your feminine gender. Common gender. These are the nouns which do not distinguish between male or female. For example, child. If I say the child is crying, can you say whether the child is a male child or a female child, is a boy or a girl? No. So child is your uh, feminine, uh, sorry, neuter gender. There are certain designations like teacher. If I say the teacher is teaching, can you say whether the teacher is a male or a female? If I say I have hired an engineer, can you say whether the engineer is a male or a female doctor? Okay, police. So all these things, all these words, the designation, the post do not distinguish between masculine and feminine. Okay, so this becomes your neuter gender. Sorry, common gender. Next comes your neuter gender. Neuter gender means all the lifeless objects that you find around you books stone knife doll your laptop your phone all these are your neuter gender means the gender cannot be distinguished they are lifeless objects they do not have life in them clear so next see uh, you have certain exercises uh, in your book the table is made up of wood. Blindness is a greatest curse. You have to find out the objects. I am leaving this as your homework to do. Next is your number B. You have to choose between these and you have to write a bundle of um, sticks. A bundle of sticks. A bouquet of flowers. Okay. You have to do all this as your homework. A bunch of grapes and rest all you will be doing on your own. Again number C. Fill, the, fill up the blanks using the suitable material from the box. All that glitters is not gold. We take cream of the dash to make butter milk. Okay. So you have to choose between them and you have to fill up all these boxes. Next, uh, filling the blanks with noun forms of the uh, words given in the bracket. It is our duty to show kindness. Kind becomes kindness. Okay. She has given me an invitation. So, you have to form the suitable word from the word given in the bracket. Here certain words are given and you have to make words according to your sentence. For example, invite becomes invitation. Kind becomes kindness. Okay. So, I am leaving this as your homework. So, we will be starting your next chapter in your next class. So, till then, revise the chapter, complete your homework and we will be meeting you in the next class. So, stay home and stay safe.